Objective To study about human reproduction, Oogenesis Part 3 Completion of Meiosis 2 The secondary oocyte released at the time of ovulation remains suspended at metaphase 2. At the time of fertilization, entry of the sperm restarts the cell cycle in the secondary oocyte. Entry of the sperm breaks down the metaphase promoting factor, MPF, and activates the anaphase promoting complex, APC. The secondary oocyte completes meiosis too. This is also an unequal division. It leads to the formation of a large ootid, or ovum, and a small second polar body. The second polar body also lies in the perivitelline space, along with the first polar body. It may divide mitotically to form two smaller polar bodies. All the polar bodies subsequently disintegrate. Hormonal control of oogenesis Oogenesis is initiated during embryonic development itself. However, ovulation is initiated only at puberty. At puberty, there is an increase in the secretion of the gonadotropin release hormones GnRH from the hypothalamus. These hormones stimulate the anterior pituitary to secrete the gonadotropins FSH and LH. FSH stimulates the growth of the ovarian follicles. It also stimulates the follicular cells to secrete estrogens. LH surge stimulates ovulation. LH also stimulates the development of the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum, under the influence of LH, secretes progesterone, which prepares the uterine endometrium for implantation. Differences between spermatogenesis and oogenesis In the process of spermatogenesis, four haploid functional sperms are produced, whereas in oogenesis only one functional ovum is produced. In spermatogenesis, both meiosis 1 and 2 are equal divisions, whereas in oogenesis, both are unequal divisions. Reproductive period The period in the life of an individual during which gametes are produced is known as reproductive period. In women, it begins at puberty, that is between 10 to 14 years of age, and ends between 45 to 50 years. The reproductive period is much longer in men.